I, I, you know, I need stretchy They're jeans. Like mom jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need mom jeans, but I, I need. They are though. I need like, something that gives me some stretch. Don't they look good on? They look great. But like, feel them. They're like pajamas. My hands are on his pants, not in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> back to What's the Safe Word? I'm Am. And I'm Jack Vidra. And today we're going to show you a nice little bondage tie. All right. Something a little different. So we get questions all the time about bondage that not only works, but also looks really good. And you're in town this weekend. Why are you in town? I'm in town just to visit a few friends for Dory. And for those that don't know, Dory is like a big kink fetish fair of Correct. sorts. Leather, rubber, bondage. And everyone usually comes dressed in some sort of fun fetish garb, but we know that fetish gear harnesses, they can get really, really expensive. But you know what's not expensive? Me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! And I hear all the time that bondage is too difficult, but doggone it, I just find that a load of bull. So today we're going to do a bulldog harness on you, and it's going to be made out of rope. And today we have Twisted Monk Rope. It's one of our favorite kinds of rope to use. It's hemp. It smells. It smells good. Feels wonderful. Mm -hmm. All you're gonna need is 30 to 40 feet of rope. Ours is nice and conditioned with lots of lube. Well, <laughs> and so today we're gonna use our Twisted Monk rope and we're actually gonna do a bondage tie that we found on Twisted Monk's website. So we'll link them down below. Not sponsored, but we just really appreciate the quality of their rope and the wonderful outreach that they do for the community. So as far as putting the harness together, we don't want you to look like a bull in a china shop. And we also don't want you to tear your, yourself down if you can't afford good kink gear. So we're gonna show you how to tie it yourself. Well, with some help. You'll probably need some help here, so get a friend. But it'll look nice, it'll feel good, and it'll also function. I'll show you how to do that at the end. <laughs> Trick a friend into being get a on friend camera with you. Bribe them with snacks. <laughs> or treats. And I know you've seen some of our videos before, um, but whenever we do a bondage tie, we always you know, ask that the guest uh, just you know, takes off their, their shirt. Um, don't mind if I do. Yeah, just real slow, real, real sensually. Oh, I'll, I'll edit music over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> We've got our bottom. Hey, <laughs> just because I'm good at it. <laughs> that wasn't an insult then, it was a compliment. We've got our rope. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna find the bite of that rope. Do you know what the bite is, Jack? I, I, I'm so using the, what? I do not. So the bite of the rope is the middle of the rope. Uh -huh. We have two different parts of the rope. We have our bite, which is on this end, and we just have the ends of the rope, and that's just like the literal ends of the rope. They don't get any fancy names, no. Oh. They're just... Sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do with our bite is we're gonna wrap it around the model's chest, like so, making sure we keep it high on the chest because this is gonna be like a bulldog harness. It's not a bra. We don't want it down here cupping the chest, we want it on top, making it look big and broad. Taking that bite, we're gonna move around to the back, and in the back, we're gonna take the ends and run that through the bite, pulling it all the way through. Hey Jack, do you know what you call a, a submissive who's also a puppy? I do not. A subwoofer. <laughs> don't, don't patronize me with your, your really lame, like, pity laugh. Take your sub and turn them around again. <laughs> After pulling those ends through the bite, we're gonna run the rope again across the front of the chest, laying it flat, making sure those ropes lay flat because it looks really nice. We don't want them to get twisted. Don't get it twisted. And we're gonna come to the back again. In the back here, you're gonna see two loops, the original bite and the bite that we just created with those ends. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that second bite and wrap our ends through that one more time, pulling all the way through. And then going the opposite direction, just like before. Aesthetically, some people like just having the two wraps, but for today's tie, I'm gonna do three, just so we, it looks really, really thick, because we like it thick. I'm gonna go ahead and do three, because we have plenty of rope, and we wanna make sure you're nice and trussed up. Mm. Yeah, don't want, <laughs> don't want you going anywhere. <laughs> you don't have plans today, right? Mm. We're gonna go through the bite that we just created again, and we're gonna bring a loop up here, and we're gonna go through that loop with our ends, kind of making a nice little lock there, keeping our ropes flat, and pulling tight, but not pinching. From here, we're gonna pull it over their shoulders and we're gonna start to make it look like an actual harness. Coming over that shoulder, we're then going to run it under all of our rope, pulling the ends through. And on this step, I like to 
keep my hands in between the rope and the bondage bottom. That way we can pull that rope and we're not gonna give them any rug burn. We don't wanna hurt them, not yet at least. <laughs> now that we've pulled that rope underneath all of those bands, we're gonna run our ends underneath that rope over our shoulder like so. And we wanna adjust so that it's just a little tight, bringing that up and over the chest. Once those ends are pulled through, we're gonna make sure that the rope lies flat here. And then we're gonna do the same thing above this chest, but in reverse. So make a nice little loop here. Run your ends through in between the body and those bands. And then run those ends through that loop that you created right there with your hands and pull it nice and tight. Making sure everything lies flat. We don't want any messy bondage or messy bottoms. You cleaned out before this, right? Always. <laughs> you're, so, you're so quick to. <laughs> and once you have both of those knots pulled and over the shoulders, we're gonna go back to the backside. I like a good backside. Coming to the backside, we're gonna take our ends one more time and running it through the last bite we created. And then I'm gonna say pull it all the way around both of those shoulder straps, making a nice little loop and pulling your ends through, creating a lock that locks us in place but doesn't cinch and won't move those knots. And you can stop right there if you want. This is actually completely finished. We're done. This harness looks nice. It feels good. It's really stable. It's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. But we also like our harnesses to be functional. So if you've got a few extra feet of rope in the back, you'll want to have your model bring their arms up in the back, keeping their wrists together if they can. You don't want to cause any problems with those veins, just like that. And we're going to run our rope down through between the back and the arms. And we're gonna wrap it two to three times there and we're gonna make one single column tie that's not gonna slip or slide, but it's gonna keep his hands out of the way. And tying that square knot right above his hands. So hopefully he can't untie that, but we'll make sure to keep him nice and occupied so he can't. He's tied up, he's secure. He's got a nice looking harness here that's hugging his chest, but it's not pushing it down. How does it feel? It actually feels really great. If you've ever been tied with nylon or polyester rope, it can pull your hair if you have chest hair, and this actually feels really nice and does not pinch or pull any hair. And it's quick and easy too, so you can stop with just that harness piece and give yourself a few more wraps around here if you want, or if you want it to be nice and functional, you can tie off those hands, keep them out of the way, and you can just have your way with your not submissive person <laughs> that you have tied up. <laughs> so it just goes to show, anything is possible with enough rope. You can really grab that bull by the horns. <laughs> Bulldog. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Don't patronize me with your laughs. But thank you so much for coming on today, Jack. I think you look very nice in that bonnet harness. I mean, it'd be a shame to take it off. I really don't, I mean, we don't need to. This is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why don't you go ahead and tell people where they can find you and what you do on YouTube? Well, a uh, little left of center from what we're doing today, uh, but I am a chef and I have a cooking channel which I have started a few videos on instructional measures and techniques. It is very different from my usual presence on social media, but uh, people have really encouraged me to share what I have to offer. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. And we always appreciate and support people that are cooking up all sorts of trouble. So why don't you go ahead and check out Jack. I'll leave his links down below. There, there's lots of room for like cooking for like good bottoming. I'm sure Absolutely. it would be a great episode. <laughs> Meal prep for people that Meal are prep that wanna, busy like, at home. Yeah. yeah. So let's make this a learning moment. This today's sign off. So on YouTube, you ask people to comment like, so, so what we do is, so comment down below what you guys wanna see next time. Do you wanna see more Jack? Do you wanna see more bondage? Do you wanna see more like travel videos? Like let us know. And then, and then you ask them to like the video. I don't know why still. Yes, just like that. <laughs> and then finally, we ask them to ring the subscription bell uh. because for whatever reason, even though people are subscribed on YouTube, they still don't see the subscriptions all the time. Oh. It's real weird. So ring that bell down below if you wanna see these videos right away. We're always on here real early, leaving comments to people who give us love back. And finally, what's the last thing they do? Subscribe. Correct. And you can do that down below for not only myself, but also for Jack. And we'll see you guys next time. What's to say for you? Bye. Uh. We'll give some support to Jack because we appreciate him here getting all uh, tied up and helping the community as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Do you want to come help the community over here? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Here, let me let me help you. I'm just going to come on this way. No, no, it's okay. Huh? We'll just say goodbye. No, 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 no. no. Stop fighting. Stop fighting, Jack. <laughs>